sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco Toys 112 Collective Deluxe Edition Harley Quinn. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So for this Harley Quinn here, she does come in the basic style box for Mesco's regular releases. So on the front of the slipcover here on the top does say Harley Quinn Deluxe Edition. We do get her little diamond logo there, which looks pretty cool. The bottom says 112 Collective Post Plate Display. And DC. And then the bottom of the actual box here, we do get the warning and blah blah blah. So who cares about? Then here's the top of the box. And then the sides of the slip cover here. And then the back of the slip cover has a bunch of really dope promo images along with all of the awesome accessories she is included with. And then you can remove the slip cover here. And then it does have the window displaying the figure and all of the accessories. The sides of the box is 112 Collective. Then the back, we do get the giant. Gomez Mesco Toys logo, but anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and find out if this will be the definitive classic suit version Harley Quinn in 6 inch scale figure form. And I'm hoping it will be because she does look pretty damn awesome so far through the window of the box there. Alrighty, to get a closer detailed look at everyone's favorite psychopath sidekick Harley Quinn. And Mezco did do a, a dope job with the figure. A couple of minor QC issues I do have with the figure. One of them you could see right off the bat there. The, the line for her suit where the black and red meet isn't centered from this one up. Down here it's alright, but over here it starts twisting more where there's more red over on the torso. Besides, instead of it being even like how it is on the lower half of Harley Quinn. I have to slide it over sometimes, but it just goes back to being like that, which is pretty annoying. Another thing is these little ball things. A few of them like to stand up, and that also gets a little bit annoying. And then another QC issue with mine is her left leg is a little longer than her right leg. As you can see right there. So not too... That's probably the one thing I, I'm most uh, annoyed or disappointed with is the the damn leg thing i keep noticing that more and more with figures not just mesco but like sh figure arts and stuff and that 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 shouldn't be happening one leg should not be longer than the other but but besides that i think the figure turned out great i love all the head sculpts that come with harley quinn here beautiful paint and sculpt detail all throughout the face there her mask looks great i love the blue eyes we got the black lipstick and everything so Really nice job on the faces, not just this one, the other two as well. And where the red and the black meet up here, and where they meet for the skin tone, very clean paintwork, and I love how you can see the stitching all around here. That looks great, man. Just tiny sculpt detail like that really just adds so much to a figure, even though it's something so minor, you know what I mean? And we do get nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout her hood, I guess. And we do get the jester ear things i guess and they turned out pretty good too there's the back there more sculpted wrinkles and stuff really cool looking and then we do get her uh little uh fuzzy ball things around her neck and like i said this is the most annoying thing about it i don't think all figures will be like that but i have one that really sticks up the other ones stay down but that one just keeps going back like a damn spring that one was originally like in the front but you can move this around and spin it so you could put it like how you want, so maybe I could do that so it's in the back and you can't really see it. But the, besides that, this turned out pretty good. And then her cloth clothing looks really nice. I like the black parts the best. I just like that material, but I know a lot of people worry about this material over time, how it will maybe damage or something, or just pieces of it will flake away, you know what I mean? But uh, the, the red is more of a spandexy or a, an, a, an elastic tight fabric and the stitching looks pretty good it's not too bad we have the diamonds one on her butt right there some on the arms she could see and on the legs as well stitching looks pretty good over here too and then we do get these uh, puffy things around her wrist which also look pretty nice on the right wrist it's over the cloth clothing but the left wrist it's not over the cloth clothing so just figured I'd mention that and then the uh, legs here look fine too she has very awkward looking butt there but oh well and uh then we do get her uh elf 
looking shoes which has some beautiful sculpt detail all throughout them I really dig the way those look nice sculpted wrinkles and everything and then the bottom of them we do get some very nice sculpted treads along with a couple peg holes so overall there's a few minor QC issues but really besides that the cloth clothing looks great and the sculpt and paint detail is uh, beautifully done on this figure and, and Mezco always does a, an outstanding job with uh, sculpt work and paint work on their figures but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories this Harley Quinn is included with a bunch of really really cool stuff so first and foremost we do get a Mezco bag in case you want to store your accessories in there and then we do get the Mezco stand so we do have the base and I love the way the red looks on there it's like a uh, it has a nice like shine to it when it reflects off the light so I really dig the way that looks and it does have the peg on there in case you want to peg the figure on there but then we do get the arm and the clamp and you could turn it into a stand and it does have the basic Mezco stand articulation so we do get that stuff and then we do get three interchangeable head sculpts. And starting on the left there, we do get the smirking mask hooded head sculpt. And that is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already did take a look at. And then in the middle there, we do get another masked hooded head sculpt. But this one, she has the open mouth laughing face sculpt. And I thought that one was going to be my favorite. They did a, a fantastic job with both masked face sculpts. But my favorite one is actually the unmasked one. On the right because it just has a very menacing look to it which I, I i love that look for harley quinn i thought the unmasked one was going to be my least favorite but it turned out to be my favorite head sculpt out of all of them and that one does have a basic stern look to it and you can swivel her pigtails which is pretty cool but just having the face sculpt like that tell me that doesn't look menacing and, and she's about to f some shit up you know what i mean but they did a, a great job with the unmasked head sculpt. That one has uh, the black around the eyes. These ones do not have it, so I dig the way that looks as well. And you get a very nice like dry brush or something throughout her blonde hair, and I really dig the way that looks. They, they did a, a beautiful job on all three head sculpts, and they are very simple to swap out. I'll show you how to do that right now quickly. And swapping her heads is very basic when it comes to Mezco. It's just on a ball peg, so just pull up when you want to take it off. Take the new head sculpt, push down on the ball peg, and then there you go. As simple as that to swap the head sculpts. And like I said, man, I love the way this head sculpt looks on the figure. That looks so dope. So we do get the three interchangeable head sculpts. And then we also get a Joker doll. We do get her huge mallet. We do get a bomb, a grenade, a pop gun with a cork. And then we do get the rocket launcher with the rocket launching out effect, which is my favorite accessory. All right, so starting with the Joker doll here, this thing looks dope, man. I really like the way this turned out. You can see like the stuffings coming out of the arm there, the knee and everything, but it, it does look like a Joker doll. And the paint's really well done on this and the sculpt detail is pretty well done too you can see where the stitching is on the clothing and everything so really nice job on this so we do get that then we do get the bomb and the grenade and this grenade looks just like a, a grenade but in 1 12th scale that looks great man I love the silver like dry brush they added on the black really nice looking man then we do get the bomb here with uh, with what it looks like Harley Quinn did make a kiss mark on it and it looks like it is lit as you could tell right there. But this this is pretty cool too. I like this little bomb there. Then we do get her mallet and the pop gun with the cork. And you can't have a Harley Quinn figure without her mallet or baseball bat. I do prefer the mallet more over the bat. But the mallet looks great. I love the paint that they did on the brown to make it look, look like it's actual wood. You know what I mean? And then I like these uh, metal bands around it. They added a nice like silver dry brush to it which looks really nice and then the handle turned out pretty good too you could see the uh the black and red wrappings all around it which look pretty dope and then we do get her pop gun here which looks great man beautiful uh paint work on that and the sculpt detail turned out really nice too you can see the bat symbol on the end of the cork and the cork can come out as you can see right there so that's pretty cool and it says for batman on it so we get that and then finally we get my favorite accessory the rocket and the rocket launcher here and the rocket launcher looks pretty cool looks like that's how many kills she has with the rocket launcher which is 12 and this handle here you can move it horizontal and then back to vertical so that i thought was pretty cool and then you have all the openings you could put the uh rocket launching effect in they added a nice like uh, dry brush on this as well 
And then we do get the rocket launching effect. The rocket looks fine. I just love the way the smoke looks. Where it's by the rocket, it's more of a darker gray, then it gets more of a lightish gray and kind of almost whitish uh, where it's shooting out of the rocket launcher. But I love the sculpt of it. It does look like smoke to me. And I believe you could put this in any one. You just got to make sure you peg it in. So the top left, bottom left, yeah, the bottom right. Yeah, you could put it in any one that you would like to, but her accessories are dope, man. So we do get all that awesome stuff. And then we finally get eight alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands. Then we do get a pair of open hands. The right one, I feel like, is meant for her to grip onto the Joker doll. And the left one's just like a open kind of finger clenched type hands then we do get a right trigger finger hand and then a left like open i guess resting type hand but you could also have her use this hand to hold the bomb this one can also hold the grenade and we do get some great sculpt detail throughout all eight hands and i believe they're just molded in the color plastic that they are and her hands are scary to swap out because her wrist joints are super thin and and I, I thought I broke the right wrist joint so just be extra careful when swapping these hands because you know what Daredevil 19 always says when it's not easy to swap hands on a figure that's not a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your new Mesco Harley Quinn figure but anyway that is all the awesome accessories included with this Harley Quinn Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now for the height of Harleen Quinzel to the very top of her head. It looks like she's about 6 inches tall. And then here she is compared to the DC Collectibles Icons Harley Quinn, the Rebel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Harley Quinn, the SH Figure Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and we have the Figma Batman Ninja Catwoman. As you can see, this Mezco Harley Quinn is the tallest out of all these other Harleys, and that Catwoman as well. And then here she is compared to the Mezco 112 Supreme Knight Batman and the Clown Prince of Crime Joker. And then we have the Mafex 2.0 the Dark Knight Joker and the SH Figure Justice League Wonder Woman. And I think this Harley Quinn does scale pretty good with these other DC Mezco figures. And then here she is compared to the Storm Collectible Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here she is compared to the ESH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for Harley Quinn's articulation. She has some pretty good movement. Not the best though. So we do get one joint at the neck here. There is no lower neck joint. So the upper or just the upper neck joint you can get her to look up a tiny bit not too bad she looks down really well with that upper neck joint and then you get beautiful pivot there as you can see and then of course it does swivel so you do get some nice movement out of that one joint at the neck there then we do get a torso joint under her boobs and i believe we have a waist joint as well so that torso joint and the waist joint combined you can get her to crunch forward about that much she does go back really well with those joints and then you do get pivot at the torso a little bit at the waist too not too much though as you can see there and then it does swivel a little bit at the torso and a little bit at the waist so not too much swivel at the waist or the torso there and the joints are all right there and we don't get like a, a butterfly joint or any type of shoulder joint there besides the hinge and you can get her arms out almost all the way so that is definitely good they do go up and down. No bicep swivel. You will have to use it at the shoulder or you could use it at the single jointed elbows. As you can see there on the single jointed elbows just hit 90 degrees. And it's always scary with the characters with skinnier arms or female. This is my first uh, woman figure I've gotten from Mezco. But the elbow joints, I'm just uh, afraid they're going to break. Because you don't know where the bend is at when you first get the figure. You got to kind of play Russian roulette and try to figure out where the bend is. So just be careful. Uh, when you open your figure and try to figure out where the bend is. Then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so that does swivel and hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, Harley kicks forward about 90 degrees, good enough. Oh, see there's some damage right there so don't bring the leg too far up or you're going to damage your cloth clothing. Doesn't really go to the back too much, let's see if she can... Jean-Claude Van Dammit and try not to pinch your action figure's cloth clothing. And she... 
almost Ken Van Damme it actually. So, uh, all right, leg movement with Harley. You get a very nice upper thigh swivel or hip swivel. Then we do have single jointed knees that just hit 90 degrees, and they don't really swivel there. And then the ankles here, they do swivel. They hinge up really well. Don't really hinge down good because of the back of her elf boot there. And then the pivot, you just get a little bit of it because of how the boot is uh, is molded or made there. And there is no toe hinge because we don't get them on Mesco figures, which I'm perfectly fine with. But overall, her articulation isn't the best. It isn't the worst. You, you're going to be able to get her in some... Oh yeah, and as you can see, another thing is she is very difficult to get her to stand. It's pretty frustrating, but you can get her in some pretty good Harley Quinn-ish like poses, and I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now, if I can get her to stand on her own. Oh my god, it worked! It's a miracle! But anyway, that is my review of the Mesco 112 Harley Quinn. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd have to give her a 7.5. Articulation, I'd also give her a 7.5. Accessories, I'd have to give her an even 9. And then the overall quality, I would give a 6.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get her from Ageless Geeks, so you can check out their website, agelessgeeks.com, and when you check out, use code name Daredevil, and you will get yourself a bit of a discount. If you can't find something on their website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell, and if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. Daredevil 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco twice. <laughs> yeah. So far, blah, blah, blah. Ha, Harley? <laughs> Why did I say her name like that? What the heck? The Mesco 112 Supreme Knight Batman in the Bayoua. Uka wa wa wa. Let's see how long it takes me to get her to stand. Because the way they curled up. The front of her shoes. It makes her more difficult to stand. I do not know why they did that. So we get that, and we do get the bomb here. Which I just dropped. You bastard. And that is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already took a look at that. Ouch! That fell on my ankle. And if you didn't know what it was, it is the tape measure. And you know these things can be pretty damn heavy. 